It's such a family-oriented uh, project, no matter what project it is, you're working with your family, and that is so nice. And you're doing things that otherwise you wouldn't probably do. It's definitely a growth mindset here in 4-H. It's, it's an opportunity to, to do and learn collaboratively. And then we always try to provide that space, the space in the relationships, the space in the project learning environment, space and community leadership opportunities to try something new, try something without regret, but to also be able to step back and reflect. When you're working in the garden, do you feel happier? And like being outside. Yeah, as long as you don't have to pull the weeds. <laughs> so were you able to like talk with the judge about the flowers you'd grown? We were taught to use a filler, a spiller, and a thriller to make our flower arrangements more exciting. 4-H is really a family affair. Joan is very helpful and involved with Sophie and Olivia Floriculture Project, Banda is a 4-H alumni. So 4-H has been a generational activity for their family for a long time. Amanda, could you just share with us what you have found most valuable about families being involved in 4-H? We get lots of quality time together, working together and learning new skills and I mean, my daughters have learned things that they probably wouldn't have if they weren't in 4-H, so I find that a great value for these kids. 4-H is a simple word that describes comprehensive positive youth development. And there is a reason why it is one of our nation and world's most prized opportunities to develop tomorrow's leaders, to bring communities together, to bring families together, and to really inspire learning, doing, and making it.